Joshua Millinson had been in the world just 13 days when he was shaken so violently by his father he was left brain dead. 13 days in which Daniel Sanzoni also twisted and squeezed his baby son, breaking his ribs and legs. He was alone with Joshua in the living room of their house when his mother says she heard a thud. Sanzoni claimed he'd merely dropped the remote control, but this is the 999 call made by Joshua's grandmother. Is the patient away? No, he's a little baby. He's two weeks old. Are you sure he's not breathing? Put... Is he breathing? No, he's not breathing. Oh, God. The injuries to Joshua's brain were some of the worst that doctors had ever seen, described as catastrophic and irreversible. He died a month later when his life support was switched off. Joshua's mother, Zoe Howell, who clutched a teddy bear throughout the trial, was cleared of turning a blind eye to Sanzoni's abuse, despite admitting he was often rough with Joshua. That child was, you know, very, very small, um, had only just not long returned home from the birth and it was very, very difficult, you know, for the police and people who, general medical experts, to, to really understand what kind of person does that to their 13-day-old child. But Zoe Howell told police there were signs about Sanzoni. Former friends say he had a troubled childhood, a violent temper and was himself brought up in care. A serious case review is now underway to discover if authorities could have done more to protect Joshua from his own father. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Birmingham.